hello everyone how are you all doing it is friday and it is a little bleaky here in new york city very cold but really a wonderful time because we're having a wonderful season how are you all doing we are going to be talking about um oils that provide benefits for boots than collagen. Now, if you've been watching what is going on in the skincare world, you would notice that there's this a big trend that is out there. And this trend, it's all about natural skincare, okay? A lot of people are turning to natural oils. And if you look at the cosmetics world out there, you will notice that they are now using a lot of natural ingredients Ingredients, such as stuff like turmeric, sage, they're even using um, rose, they are using like um, ginger, they are just going deep into these natural remedies. Now, that this, this is not surprising since for centuries, this is what this is what people normally use on their skin. Now, a lot of people are just sick and tired of the additives, the preservative, and all of that kind of stuff. So they want to do what is best for their skin. The next trend is also that a lot of people are trying to look younger. A lot of people are trying to have that glowing skin. Now, some of you might come on and be like, yeah, I don't understand why there's so many people these days that are trying to look younger. But if you really sit back and you think about it and you basically look around you, you will notice that the reason so many people are trying to look younger is the fact that people are living much younger, longer. When I was like 15 or so, a 50-year-old woman would look extremely old and you don't normally see like a lot of older people around and that is because well the lifespan is really 70 years old but people are living way above and not only that uh, people are maintaining their youthfulness so when you see a 40 or a 50 or a 60 year old woman out there in most cases nowadays you have to be guessing their age before you could easily tell that mm, she's 60 upwards now you are actually guessing and this is not only because of cosmetic um procedure i do understand that there are people out there that tend to you know elevate themselves by getting a little announcement but this is more due to the fact that we have the internet and so many people are now aware of simple things that they can use on their skin to have themselves looking younger wherever they are in this world and one such of this um entity is like my channel right here where i share with you guys all of these amazing natural ingredients natural sources that you already have at home that you might have been overlooking for way way so many years not knowing that these simple ingredients can have you looking amazing so welcome to let's talk skincare if this is your first time this is what we do we talk about you know skincare on a whole not necessarily what is going on on my channel but what is going on in the wider world out there why do we like to talk about collagen so much because collagen is actually uh, a protein that help to firm that skin that help the skin to look younger radiant it also help to prevent wrinkles and fine lines on the skin if you notice that when we age we tend to get start out looking older by the wrinkles the stress line a lot of us stress a lot and all of that what happened that is the collagen that is slowing down once the collagen start to slow down then you start to see the first signs of wrinkles now why is the collagen slowing down the collagen actually slows down as soon as we age the older you get the less collagen your body produces and that's the reason for wrinkle now because people are living so much longer what um uh, technology and science and all of that is doing is finding a way for them to look 
good without the wrinkles because a 70 years old woman should at least have a lot of wrinkles. But if you can use the natural source that the earth produces to slow that down, you can't stop it, but you could slow it down, then why not? What are you losing? Absolutely, you have nothing to lose. What are you gaining? Self-confident and basically feeling good within yourself that you look amazing. Now, are we um, vain wanting to look amazing? No, not at all. You get up in the morning, you go to work, you work hard, you take care of the kids, you send them to school, you do all of that good stuff. Yes, you do want to look amazing because you're still alive and you want to have a natural glow. You want to look um, really um, well, keeping up for your age or even younger. Now, welcome, welcome. Let's do some shout out. Um, it's the festive season, as you know. So if you're tuning in and if you are a newbie, you need to comment on um, the live shows because that is where we are going to be drawing the giveaway, gift given, giving back to you guys from for the, you know, we're going to do that about the week the day, two days or so before the holidays. So comment, comment so that your name can be entered into the drawing. Hello, Karen. How are you? Happy Friday. Um, collagen boots of vitamin E, um, rose or over oil to name a few. And we also have a lot of that on our paper right here. So we have Nazi Nawakanwo. I think I get that right. Hello. How are you doing? Please, the serum you post today, can we use it in place? The um, what can we use? Can we use in place of papaya oil and batchy oil? Okay, we are gonna talk about some of these oils that you can use to substitute those oils. We have a lot. And we also have um, Wanda. Wow, I made it this time. Hello, Wanda. Welcome to Let's Talk Skincare. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome. We're glad to see you. And just sit back, relax, you know, take part, comment, and feel free to express yourself. Okay? All right. And we have, um, hello, Delabio. How are you? Um, happy countdown to Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, if you celebrate Kwanzaa, and if you celebrate... Um, um, Anika, whatever it is that you celebrate, happy countdown. Okay. All right. So we have Lady J. Hi, Lisa Darby. Hello, ladies and men. And we have a few of those. A lot of times we think they are not on, but they are actually on. Sometimes they comment and sometimes they don't. But I do receive plenty of emails from the guys. So, yes, we got to address them. So we also have um, Lily August. Hello. Hello, Rita. How are you? I hope you're enjoying the festive season. And we also have um, um, Paria. Paria Reeves um, or Patria, uh, um, pa Patria, um, whichever one is right, I think is the last one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, guys. So if you're an oldies and you watch this channel a lot, you already know some of the oils, okay? I always have something up my sleeve for Let's Start Skincare with Chichi Beauty. I'm always going to introduce something new to you guys. But before we get on to the new oil that I'm going to introduce, let's talk about some of the other oils that are great, that provide benefits for boots and collagen. The very first one I'm going to talk about is the pomegranate oil. And if you don't know or you're not aware, then you need to start writing that down because the pomegranate oil is basically taking the world by storm. And I'm not just saying that uh, because I like to eat pomegranate. I'm saying that because that is what is happening. If you look at uh, many of the, 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 the high-end products out there these days, you're going to notice that they are using a lot of pomegranate oil in their high-end products. And this is because it has to be a reason, right? The pomegranate is actually great for internal. It's good to drink. Um, if you make the drink, you get the powder nowadays. It's going to help to boost that collagen 
from inward. However, when it comes on to using it topically on the skin, the pomegranate contains omega-5 fatty acid. It also contains vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, believe it or not. So that is why the pomegranate is such an amazing oil to use these days. It has the three basic oils within vitamins that is antioxidant that you need for your skin and most time you're looking for that one oil that is going to do the job it's going to clear the skin of spots and blemishes it's going to help to firm the skin by boots and the collagen production and it's also going to help to hydrate the skin so that is what comes with the pomegranate if you are watching and you grew up with the pomegranate i mean eating the pomegranate before it actually you know, take the world by storm like it is doing right now, then raise your hands or just comment. I grew up eating the pomegranate, not knowing that they could use the seed for oils. They could use the peel to put in scraps. I mean, you could just really and truly use the entire pomegranate. The pomegranate peel is used to make pomegranate powder and that is loaded with vitamin C, no joke, and vitamin A. So when you get your pomegranate these days, you can choose to dry that pomegranate peel just the way you dry the orange peel. And when you get it dried, put it in that brown paper bag just the same. And after a week or two, then you're going to just blend it to a powder. You get your pomegranate powder. And guess what, guys? Amazing for your facial stuff that you make at home, your facial mask, your facial scrub. You could whip that up with some um, yogurt, you can put, mix it with some milk, you could put it in your fuller's earth, you can just do a number of things with it and the best part of it is you are getting the natural stuff, no preservative, no additives, no form of a chemical, so you are free to use it to clear the skin, especially when you're looking for that instant that natural glow what more can i say i just shared with you how you could make your own pomegranate powder okay in case you wasn't paying attention pay attention because i'm also gonna list below the video when i'm done where you could get that pomegranate powder to buy but if you are smart mm, 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 i just show you how i'll share with you how you can make that pomegranate powder so i mentioned pomegranate oil but i also let you know you don't have to throw the peel out. Now, where does the pomegranate oil come from? The pomegranate oil is made from the pomegranate seeds, okay? So once it's oiled, it's taken from seeds, right? So the seeds is loaded with all that properties. The juice is loaded with all of that properties also. And the peel is loaded with the same, even probably more than what is contained in the seed. So when you see the pomegranate out there, don't shy away from it. I recently just go and buy, but I used to buy pomegranate and eat pomegranate way before I know that the pomegranate have so many benefits. If you're watching and you have been eating and if you have been using pomegranate oil or even pomegranate powder, feel free to come and let us know exactly how you use it on your skin but it is amazing so for those of you who don't have access to the pomegranate oil but you have access to the pomegranate itself then you are good to go any question feel free to ask right now Donna Anderson yes we call it Chinese apple also all right guys so I this is something I'm just learning so Pomegranate um, is also called Chinese apple. And I guess Dana Anderson, Anderson, I'm not sure where you're from. So some places they call it um, Chinese apple. I just learned something. Lisa, I just picked my pomegranate. Yeah. See, that's, that's like the best one because it's fresh right from the tree. And we have... Um, um, Sexy me love, colon, I love the fruit. And I just love, I even like the way it looked, to be honest. There's something about red and seeds and juice just really look amazing. All right, Joe Brown Sugar. Um, I, teach you, I have tried home remedies for sagging eyes, but nothing. What's the best oil 
It's not like I'm very old. I'm 35. They start when I was in my 20s. I start home remedies about five years ago. When you said, when you use the word sagging eyes, are you mentioned, are you talking about like droopiness, like under your eyes or explain to me a little more about the sagging eyes. Okay. Just a little more detail. Are you talking about wrinkles or do you have like your, just explain that to me. I'm not so clear, but I'm definitely going to answer you. I'm looking out for your comment. All right. So we also have, um, yes, man, I'm really fond of your tricks. They are actually not tricks. There's a lot of people that think that some of, um, or some people probably think that all of these things that we post are trick. They are no trick. And, um, if you're going to sell something, okay, you need to be able to use it. That's just me. I think if you're selling something, you got to know exactly what it is. You got to know um, the benefits and you got to know all of that good stuff. Now, you represent what is it that you're selling. I sell to you guys, quote unquote, sell to you homemade skincare remedy that I personally use most of my remedies I personally use. There are some remedies that I don't use. And those are normally the ones like um, getting rid of warts, um, you know, stuff like that, like, you know, minor situation that um, people might have. However, I might not use it, but my family member might use it. And when it comes on to skincare, when it comes on to like acne prone skin and all of that, check my phone. I'm always getting calls. I'm always getting emails. So I'm always sharing. So I know how most of the stuff that I make work. And if I make something and I don't feel that it's going to work, then I don't put it out. And probably that's why I you know, don't reach way, way, way ahead on YouTube because I am trying my best to put out whatever is I think is going to work because this is not no joke. This is not me behind the camera and, you know, like toys out there. You guys are real people with real issue that really need and really want to look amazing. So, the, you probably I, I don't I'm don't think I'm being offended when you use the word trick but I just you know for me the meaning of trick is like you know you try to trick somebody it's not really true okay so no 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 I use everything I post see I have all my remedies right here and I am living proof of a lot I post a video um a day or so ago and it's one of my older videos and I was looking at my skin on that video and I was even embarrassed to post, repost the video because my skin look really, and I'm going to use the word disgusting. I'm not straying from the topic, guys. My, I'm going to answer you guy with the oil for the droopy eyes, okay, for the sagging eye, right? My skin was looking disgusting. No, 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 no joke, all right? absolutely no joke i'm high at home using a lot of wonderful expensive remedies on my i mean products on my skin no i'm not do i used to do that yes i used to do that but what do i do now i use my natural oils and mix stuff for myself are all of these oils cheap no some of them tend to cost a little penny however when i post on the channel like a oil that might be a little on the pricier side i normally explain to you guys that it might be a little pricey and most of the time when i make remedies i might not use it in it just not that i don't want to put it in it but just because i know i'm catering for a, a wide range of people so i might mention it that you could add it it's so as not to let anyone think that it's way too expensive. Okay, so it's no trick. It's all natural, and I use all of these good stuff. And yes, I do get a lot of products from people that send things that want me to review things, but I could just reach for a lot of things. They soon stop sending things to me because I normally just like to use the things I use, and they would be contacting me like, contacting me like, you know, the product, the product, the product. But yes, anyway. 
back to what we are talking about we're talking about oil and for the person that won the oil i'm still looking for the for the droopy eyes i really gonna give you a remedy but what you need to do as a matter of fact let me tell you what to do i'm gonna give you special attention today what you need to do email me chichibuti at gmail.com the link is below in the video on the top of it all cap and if you could put it in color put it in color um sagging eyes okay big and bold in the subject line so that i could see it because right now no joke i have thirty-two thousand emails to go to and if you think a lion i could actually pull my phone up and show it to you guys so make it big make it bold and i'll give you uh one of the remedy that i personally use okay so we're moving on from the pomegranate and we're going to move on to my next favorite oil and that is rose hip oil oh my goodness guys when it comes on to the rose hip oil that is like a no joke if you can get your hands on that rose hip oil that is what if you should buy just one special oil and i'm gonna call it a special oil then get the rose hip oil okay the rose hip oil just like the pomegranate oil do have vitamin a vitamin c and b vitamins however the rose hip oil contained more vitamin a than the pomegranate oil okay the pomegranate oil have more vitamin c more than the rose hip oil so they go and in and and that's why i like the mix but if you have to get one for wrinkles for boots in the collagen production you would go with the one with the most vitamin a okay the vitamins which is known as antioxidant that is good for boots in collagen that you're going to get the best result from is vitamin a so if you're going to buy your store-bought in beauty product for anti-aging purposes you look for vitamin a and vitamin a is going to come in many forms such as rose hip oil such as cake oil such as camu camu so look for those words because they are they're probably not going to list vitamin A, but the trick is the oil that they're using contain the vitamin A. So that is what you look for. And that is why I'm telling you, if you have to get one oil and you could only afford to get one, then get the rose hip oil. Okay. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the rose hip oil, but let me go back to the board i want to be a little more interactive with you guys instead of me alone just you know talking although i have so much to share that if you don't give if i you know i could just have, bah, 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 bah. in my family they say that i talk a lot however they love me like really really love me you know i'm like self-praising now even though i talk so much and annoy them i'm very very nice so the talking tend to overlook but yeah i talk a lot ever since i was a kid and ask a lot of questions, but um, it works. So now I could do a one hour show just talking. See, let your kids talk when they want to talk and answer the questions, okay? Don't tell them, sit, sit, talk too much. No, answer. All right, anyway, um, Peggy, your fresh, your fresh remedies are much better than any of the product I've purchased, including the natural ones. Thank you so much for that. And I could tell you a thing or two because I was a product junkie. No joke. No joke. And I, one day I'm going to come on and very soon I'm going to be able to just sit with you guys and just talk about me. Like, you know, get to know me. You guys really don't like know me. And now I really want to open up a little bit more. So very soon you're going to, yeah, know who I am. Really walking by faith. Chichi, your nails are looking good at the length. So happy to see teachers lady. Oh, it's actually for a project. Okay. I cut them all off. And what I'm actually going to do for 2020, I'm actually going to grow my nails for you guys. Like, absolutely no tips no nothing just grow them out it's a lot of work though i gotta be honest with you for all my life um i always have long nails that i you know my own personal nails no tip no nothing when i get really really busy not strain guys we're going to talk about nail oil too not strain when i get really really busy it was really hard to maintain my own nails because then i you know 
whatever. So I started wear tips and all of that. But for a project, which I want to prove that, you know, how long my oil that I make is going to take for my nails to grow and all of that good stuff. So that's the reason for my nails being shot. Thank you anyway for noticing. All right. So when it started to go back, like, you know, then you guys are going to be like, yeah, I really grow. Well, for some people, not everybody going to still believe that they're mine. Okay. So, all right. So we have, um, um, Fiki, I'm Elo Chichi, all the all um all the way from South Africa, somewhere I want to go very, very soon. Welcome, Wanda. What is good for a chess wrinkle? Okay, we're gonna talk about oils and we're talking about oils for boosting collagen. We just mentioned that when you age, the collagen production slow down. Now, guys. When we talk about collagen production slowing down, we're not only referring to the face, the collagen production slow down the entire body all over. So anywhere on your body can get wrinkles. We're going to the chest, we're getting there. Anywhere on your body is gonna get wrinkles. And that is one of the reasons why I'm going to stretch my arm out. A lot of people think that is when you get fat and you lose the weight, that is what caused your arm to sag. Sagging arm, we flying somewhere right now. No, that is also for most people, I'm excluding people who have gained a little weight and lose it and all of that. That is because the skin is losing the collagen production. Therefore, your chest also is going to lose collagen, meaning you're going to gonna see wrinkles on the chest, just as how you would see it on the face. You're going to see wrinkle on the legs, just as how you would see it on the face. The difference is why we talk about the face so much is because what people are actually seeing. People are seeing your face, they don't see the rest unless you are the type that, you know, you want to do all the bikini and all of that, the good stuff in the summertime. So, we don't talk about chest wrinkle, but a lot of people have chest wrinkles. And what do you do to get rid of the chest wrinkles? The same thing that you do to get rid of the wrinkles on the fine lines on your face, your neck, and your decollete. Now, I like to talk about the decollete, and I always mention the decollete. So when I'm talking about the decollete, the decollete is right here from, you know, right there. So bring it down on the chest. Massage your chest with the same collagen boosting oil or good trick, your facial cream. And no joke, your facial cream. Now, that little bottle, that little three ounce bottle is not enough to do the entire body unless you have a big bag of money. So what you're going to do, you are going to get a good oil such as the rose oil and you're going to pour that in your body cream. And if you want to top it up even more, pour extra vitamin E in your store-bought body cream. Shake that baby up and use it to massage the skin. As simple as that. And guess what you now have? You now have a, a body cream loaded with vitamin A. This is how the skincare world works, guys. And that's why we are bringing it to you here. This is Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. So what we do, we give you little tips and all of that and basically tell you a little behind the scene of the skincare world. So that is how it works. When you find a product out there that said boots collagen anti-aging um nighttime facial cream what is actually saying to you is that it might contain an ingredient that is loaded with vitamin e such as rose hip oil and like now i introduced the camu camu to you guys last week and now you're gonna see a lot of those creams with Camu, camu. Now, if it's a special ingredient that they want you to know that is in it, then they're going to list it on it. Like the camu, camu is taking the world by storm, they are the, the bachi oil, then it's going to be listed on it. Anti-aging cream made from camu, camu or um, anti-wrinkle cream with pomegranate oil. Okay, so that is how they come up with all these wonderful things. So when you know what to look for and you're learning all of that here, you could go out there and don't be fooled and really get the best of what you need for your skin. All right, so um, 
what food do you consume do you eat red meat and dairy okay i know a lot of you um no i don't i i am um, three and a half years now no meat i am 95 percent vegan which i don't really discuss on the channel um, much but you know we probably could get into those things um little it's by choice Will I never ever eat meat again? I don't know. Do I crave meat still? No. I was I like a, a, a meat eater, a meat lover? Never really. Growing up, I used to just take my meat out and give to my sister. Like, I don't want it. I don't want it. Give me Kalaloo. Give me cabbage. I like those kind of things from a, a younger age. However, I was eating fish and chicken for years and years and years until, uh, anyway, that's a video, guys. I'm going to give you a story why and what really pushed me over to th the top to basically just go cold turkey and stop eating meat. Like, just go cold turkey like that. It's another video, so I probably will put it on my blog channel for you guys but no i don't eat those kind of things okay all right however and you know you're watching chichi beauty and i like to keep it real i do cheat and my cheat is cheese i cheat with the cheese and especially when i travel when you travel and you don't eat meat well it's getting better it's getting way way better because everywhere you go now they have you know like vegan restaurant or good veggie we're not strained guys this is how it works and when we're doing the live show if you're new guys we stray so much sometimes that it's not funny all right one question could just throw me out sometime and we stray but this it's all good it's all in line because what you eat actually have a lot to do with how your skin look and it's no joke. Okay. All right. So we're really not strained and there's a lot of ish going on nowadays when it comes on to, to dairy, when it comes on to red meat and all of that good stuff, which we could do a whole video. Now it's by, by choice that I don't eat meat and fish and all of that but if you have to eat meat eat it it's your choice because guess what when you think about that salmon that is loaded with all that omega and fatty acid and that's good stuff for your body and that you need that protein it's for you eat it okay for me i have my own reason why i stop eating it and as i said never say never but right now i'm good okay all right guys so if you see me make a sandwich and you see me cheat and put a piece of cheese on it because i don't know man that's the hardest part of it for me only the cheese i touch nothing well Ever since I was, a, I don't really eat eggs also since I was a kid, but I love egg. I used to love it, but I just couldn't eat it because it used to make me puke. So, you know, anyway, we'll talk about food and we're going to do, if you want me to talk about food, I think a lot of people would like me to talk about food. So we'll go there and food is good for your skin. Okay. Good food, good skin, cut the grease. And anyway, all right, back to oils. All right, guys. So my next oil is carrot oil. Carrot oil. Now, be mindful, guys. When we talk about carrot oil, they really do not get the carrot oil from the carrot itself. I got to make that clear to you. The carrot oil is actually from carrot seeds. Okay? A lot of people are not aware of that. Most people think that carrot oil is from the carrot itself. However, the carrot itself is just as good as the carrot seeds, okay? So the entire thing is amazing. You could even choose to use the carrot um, leaves if you have access to fresh carrot, that is. When you go to the farmer market, like near my house, and you buy the carrot, and I just love that, and, you know, you're walking with it in the bag, and you get it with the long um top on it the leaves and stuff like that yeah when you go home you don't have to throw it in the garbage you can actually cut it up and put it in your stew and all that good stuff because it's loaded with antioxidant that is going to help to boost the collagen production 
in the skin. It's going to give you that benefit when you actually eat it, right? So eat up your greens and all those green leaf vegetable contains vitamin A, a lot of vitamin A that is going to help to boost the collagen production. If you're treating your skin topically, you also want to eat the good stuff to further enhance what you're doing on the outside so it could shine, you know, shine, shine true. And blueberry, guys, and purple cabbage, anything that is purple have some form of a vitamin A, like the blueberries, the purple cabbage, the purple um, potato, the, what else is purple? Um, something, beetroot, beets, guy, beet is amazing. And now they're even having beetroot powder that you can use in your smoothies, but you can also use it to make your facial mask. It is loaded with vitamin A that is gonna help to boost the collagen production. I don't see the beetroot oil as yet. <laughs> if it's out there, if you're watching Rita, do they have the beetroot oil? All right, I don't see the oil as yet, but it just might be out there since you know they are manufacturing all these amazing stuff for smoothies and skin. And when it comes on to those smoothies, guys, um, drink up the smoothies if you can, because that is like when you make us don't bother with the everlasting sugar in the smoothies. They have so much things out there now, green powder, red powder. I have a lot of those at my home too, because yeah, I do drink those things because I want to look amazing. Okay. All right. So, but hello, Jason. Um, you can also make a carrot oil with a carrier oil, like the grapeseed oil. Yes, yes, yes. And I also have some carrier oil here that I want to talk about. So let me stop, you know, and stick to the topic right now. All right. Um, Laura, ha ha ha. I mean, um, beet juice, LOL. Taryn, I love smoothie. Walking by faith. Yes to purple rice, anything but white products. And yes, and we have some amazing recipe on the channel using the purple rice. And I started eating the purple rice too. It tastes really, really good. Like really, really good. Okay. I know a lot of you don't have access to the purple rice. The one I get is some, is um actually grown somewhere here in America, um, Iowa, Iowa somewhere there that's the one i get but i know like probably like in spain or you know those countries they do have because the first time i actually had purple rice was in spain so they make it in this kind of a pillow or something like that so i know some of you have access and some of you don't have access but if you have access to it give it a go it tastes good and it's good for your skincare products that you make at home even Hoen, i use red onion too in my recipe and yes and in let me tell you something guys we're not strained we are not strained onions garlic um what's the other one that tend to make we have bad bread all of those that celery all of those um vegetables is really good for you don't mind that your hubby is going to have a bad night because the bread with the garlic is just too much. You brush, you floss, you Listerine, and it's still there. That is me when I eat too much onion or garlic. I guaggle throat. I do all kind of thing. I eat a mint. It's still going to be there because my system is not as fast as, you know, some people when it come on to digesting stuff, which we won't get into right now. So it stayed there, but it's good for me so i'm gonna eat it cook with it and when it come on to basil parsley um tarragon aragon aragona or aragon however it's pronounced make sure guys those are what you use in your food because you're reaping the health benefit of these natural um spices and herbs and fruits and vegetable they're good for your skin Personally, I love the white stuff and it's no joke. And probably one of the reasons why I love the white stuff so much is because that's how I was raised with a lot of white stuff. But over the years, I try to cut the white stuff, okay? Now, I have a friend that I'm hanging out with a lot these days and, and she actually have me eating a lot of white stuff. If you watch my older videos, you would know that I gain a lot of weight, but come 2020, this baby is going to cut the white stuff and get back in shape and looking amazing. And when I come on and said, put a video up, um, I'm going to be 51, 50 ear hole looking 25. You guys going to be like, 
get out of here. But guess what? It's gonna, I gotta live up to that. All right. Anyway, back to the oil. So let me take some more questions. Yvette, all right. Um, Baba, Baba, um, Shani, Mala, love you, love you right back. Um, Mistress, um, Natoya White, yes, and, um, Rosemary Time, cilantro, I need my scotch bonnet pepper. One quick tip, guys. If you can tolerate pepper, use it in your food. It speed up metabolism. It cut fat, okay? And it also help with um, boosting your energy level. And it's like a no joke. So if you could tolerate it, then use it. It's an amazing spice that is good for other reasons. We don't have... You want to try some pepper oil? <laughs> I'm trying to be a funny guy, but, you know, sometimes being too funny, people might just take me serious and try the pepper oil. So I might have to, I have to be careful what I said. All right. So we're going to talk about squalene oil. And squalene oil is actually made from, believe it or not, olives. Yes, it's made from olive. So you have olive oil and you have squalene oil. Um, the one I'm using, um, I think they get most of the squalene oil like out of Italy or somewhere like that. I guess wherever they grow a lot of olives, then you might find squalene oil. So it's right there in the olive oil family. However, the process of the squalene oil is totally different from the olive the olive oil is taken from the olive and the squalene oil is taken from the seeds. It's a big, it's, it's, it's different. And I'm going to go into that another day. But guys, I have myself um, the squalene right here. And on it, you could see the olive because it is from olive. So I'm telling you to use the squalene because it's loaded with vitamin A. It's a, another oil that is taking the skincare world by storm. And if you don't believe me, Google it when you are done watching the show and you are going to be blown away at the many skincare, um, eye and skincare lines that are using the squalene to you know, make those anti-aging products. So get your squalene. So I'm just telling you that this is made from olive. And if you don't have the squalene, don't feel left out because you have the olive oil. Two different processes, as I said, but you're still going to get good benefit from the olive oil. It's just that this have more vitamin A. How they do it? I don't know. I am going to get deeper into figuring out. That's just me, guys. You don't have to do it. I'll do it for you. How? What's the difference from how they come with one oil from the same thing with more vitamin A? But I've been using it and I really and truly love it. And it's everywhere now in the skincare world. The squalene is everywhere. The rose hip is everywhere. But the newest one, two ones that they're now, you know, focusing on is the Camu Camu and the batchy oil, okay? No joke, you're gonna see it everywhere, but we probably can't afford to buy the product. Anyway, guys, so um, so I did the pomegranate, the rose hip, the carrot seed, the squalene. Now I have a wonderful oil to share with you, newly discovered, it has been around, however, it's new to me, and I've been testing it, and that is, guess what, guys? Grapeseed oil, mm-hmm. They now have grapeseed oil loaded with vitamin C. This one is vitamin C, and we're going to be using this grapeseed oil to mix with the a vitamin A rich oil, and that is going to help to boost the collagen, clear the wrinkles, but better yet, lighten and brighten the skin. Don't come at me when I talk about lightening and brightening the skin if you are new to this chat, because when we mention lightening and brightening the skin, we are talking about getting rid of the dead skin cells from the surface of the skin and leaving a fresh looking skin. When you use a wash rock to exfoliate, Foliar to your skin, it means you're getting rid of the dead skin salt. When you use a facial scrub, it means you're getting rid of the dead skin salt. Now, there's a big difference between lightening and brightening the skin in that way than actually bleaching the skin. So don't come at me and I will forever use the word lightening and brightening the skin because if you start to take care of your skin, and if I am um, lying, guys, come at me. 
If you start to take care of your skin today, within a month, your skin is going to look lighter regardless of how dark you are or of how light you are. Whether you are black, blue, purple, orange, or green, your skin is going to look different because it's going to look fresher because you are taking care of it and you are doing what you're supposed to do to have it looking amazing. And that is no joke. If you get up every morning and you wash your face and you use an exfoliator and just apply any old oil that you have in your kitchen to your face for a month at the end of the month you are going to notice a difference to your skin no joke the trick is exfoliating the skin getting rid of that dead skin cell to expose the pores so that it could drink up whatever you put in it exfoliate the skin so that you get rid of the grease that is stuck in the pores and the dirt from the environment and that is going to have your skin looking clean it's going to drink up all the water and whatever it is that you are applying and you're going to look amazing do you sometimes watch people i grew up in a small community where we weren't you know like privileged to have a lot of stuff and you're going to notice that you have a few privileged people and you're going to think they always look better than you because why is the face always look so nice they look so nice because they have money and oh my goodness i wish my of course your face could look like that you don't need a million bucks to have your skin looking gorgeous as the celebrities does no joke what they are doing that you might sit at home and is not doing they are spending quality time taking care of their skin and it is no joke the same thing that i'm introducing to you the same oils and the same Every same, same, same is the same thing they're mixing up and using on their face. The difference is they have to be like in the public eye. So that's a part of their job to look amazing. So they spend extra time. Now you could get that same result in the comfort of your home. You just have to follow the same principle that they follow by being dedicated to your skin and it is no joke it's no joke if you believe it you believe it if you don't then guess what you do try to take care of your skin for a month and be dedicated to it every day and then come back and tell me if you believe it or if you still don't believe it okay guys so we are moving on we talk about the grapeseed oil there's another let's talk about some carrier oil first like really fast since the time is going when you get your special oils that I'm calling them, like the, 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 this is what, this is the kake. I don't talk much about the kake oil and the, the show. And Jason, you were supposed to get a kake oil. I still remember they did get in touch with me to send names. So I'm going to send the names. So I don't talk about this much because like this one that I'm using is a little pricey but i now notice that they have better pricing going on where the kake oil is concerned and i did an entire video on this one if you miss it you could go and watch it and it's no joke now when you have all these special oil the bachi oil the quailing and i'm going to talk about the ooba let's talk a little about the ooba oil the ooba oil also have vitamin a not as much as the rose hip and the kake and the quailing but it do have it have vitamin c also have some amazing in it it is one of the better oil that can use directly on the skin because you can also use it as a carrier oil not all the special oil is good to use directly on the skin like that some of them need a carrier oil and when we talk about carrier oil we are actually talking about a oil that is going to help to dilute the highly concentrated oil that you get in the form of like the rose hip oil or the batchy oil this batchy oil guy is it's crazy color and i have a little thing in mind it always take me forever to open like the batchy oil which is like really really strong you need a carrier oil and carrier oil are normally like your olive oil your almond oil your good old coconut oil what other oil is there 
even some soya bean oil, okay? Soya bean tend to get a big, like, you know, people tend to put soya bean oil down, but read up on the soya bean, guys, the 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 um the antioxidant and the vitamins that is actually in the soya bean is amazing. I think one of the reasons why they put the soya bean oil down so much is, if I'm wrong, correct me, and if anybody on the chat know anything about the soya bean oil, speak out, because soya bean oil was considered the underdog there were more soya bean than anything there were more soya bean than or uh, than corn there's more soya bean than um olives there's more soya bean than grapes so soya bean was mass produced and every country could get soya bean oil and for a cheap price so people tend to look down on that oil because it's considered a lower grade oil. However, the soya bean oil is amazing for your skin, okay? So if that's the only thing, and it's gonna come up, the coconut oil was also put down because that is what they used to produce a lot of, Coconut oil and soya bean oil was like the two low-class oil. And they give those two oils a bad rap. The coconut oil, guys, was like a no-no. They come up with all different kinds of stuff to say about the coconut oil. It clogged the pores. It's this, it's that, it's that. Until they finally wake up. And a couple of years ago, there was nothing you could say about the coconut oil. Everybody was turning back back to the coconut oil, coconut oil, this coconut oil, that little old me grew up using the coconut oil. So it wasn't no strange thing to me. And I think that is what is going to happen to the soya bean. Remember you hear it here first. Very soon, you're going to start to hear people talking about how good that soya bean oil is. All right. So palm oil. Yes. Palm oil is also an amazing oil. And that's another one that is coming back around. If you don't believe me, research it for yourself. Um, Jason, over oil is my go-to oil for my face and beard. And for those of you guys out there, it is amazing for your beard. And you can also, not a nice smell, but you can also tip a little bit of the tea tree oil in the oba oil and use it on your beard right after you shave. That is for you guys. Um, one of my subscribers, a guy, actually sent me an email the other day and he was like, you know, the honest truth is I think you forget about us. Um, 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 a year or so ago, you used to make a lot of stuff for us guys. Now you stop making stuff. What is going on? You forget about us. We are still here. So I promise him come next year, at least one video per Per week, I'm going to dedicate to the guys because you're still there. You still make up a bulk of subscriber. Okay, so eat it too. I love what you you are doing. I have learned a lot. Thanks so much. And thank you so much for that. Now, if you are new, guys, this is what Let's Talk Skincare is all about. It's totally different from the Sunday show. We talk about products. We talk about the skincare market on a whole, the new trends, what is fading out, like the coconut oil is fading out. It's not going to fade out for me because I'm going to be using it still. And now they're introducing other oils that is taking over, like the Kamu Kamu and all of that. Okay, so that's what we do on Let's Talk Skincare. It's all about skincare, new invention, old invention, face care, body care, and all of that good stuff. Store-bought and also um, stuff that you could find in your kitchen. All right, so um, Zen Malonin, coconut oil is the best. All right, thank you for that. And we have Joby, J-O, I probably said that wrong, but it's BB. Please, can you package some of this stuff so we can buy for people who are lazy? And that is coming up, um, fingers crossed, next year all natural oil blends and stuff like that for you guys. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we have um, Chandani Passad. Chichi, what is the clove oil used for? To take? <laughs> okay, we're going to get into that, but that just... No, but it's true. It is true because it has anti and um anti-inflammatory properties. The clove oil is also great to mix with the oba oil for your beard. Okay, it's perfect for beard. And guys, the cedar oil, uh, which I'm gonna really make some videos for you guys. 
for the cedar oil is another amazing oil that you guys can use on your skin and also you know on your beard and other part of your body all right so all right so that's for the guys norma cock what about castor oil castor oil oh i could i didn't even talk about sesame seed oil now castor oil is another i'm gonna say castor oil is another oil that is kind of an underdog when it come on to skincare. A lot of people think that castor oil is just for like fiber and those kind of, uh, you know, minor medical situation. No. Why people don't use the castor oil for say, um, for facial, mostly because of the fragrant you know it don't smell good but castor oil is not only good for your hair it's good for your skin also it's an amazing oil if you're new to the chat you might not know another oil that is really kicking off is the sesame seed oil now the sesame seed oil used to get a bad rap also because of the fragrant and a lot of people you know associated with you know chinese food and stuff like that however if you watch let's Talk skincare, you'd have learned that that is because the seed is roasted. Now, if you want to use sesame seeds oil on your skin, which is loaded with vitamin E oil and it's right up there with the rosehip oil, okay, is you buy the unroasted sesame seed oil. I thought um, somewhere here though, uh, I don't have it in front of me, unroasted sesame seed oil, and that is what they're now using. It's a basically as a matter of fact, when I sniff it, I smell nothing. Basically nothing. Fragrant free. All right. Amazing, amazing anti-aging face oil. Mix them together. And I don't have a lot of mix on this channel because when you mix things, you actually get the best benefit. However, guys, all of these oils that I mentioned to you, you could put a tip or a drop or two drops in your... I'm, I'm not going to use the word cheap. I'm going to use, make it a little fancy. And I'm going to say your low budget face cream. You go out there. That is considered a base. Your low budget face cream is a base. And you're going to get yourself, let's say, a, a squalene oil like this. That could last you for six months or more. And you're going to drop about 10 drops of this squalene in your budget friendly face cream. And guess what you're turning that budget friendly face cream into? You're now turning it into an IN product. No joke, okay? And if you have more oil, you're going to tip a little bit like of a cake oil or, you know, any of these special oil. The trick is that you get a big old bottle like this and it's going to last you forever, okay? Forever. You can store some of these oils in your refrigerator or in a cool area and that is going to keep the oil much longer, okay? I tend to store some of my oils in the fridge. One oil that was surprising to me that actually sleep. I, I don't have it here, but um, one of these oil that I find sleep and I was a little shocked. Anyway, we'll talk about that another time. So definitely, guys, all of these amazing oils. And as you know, I give you more than, oh, wow. The new oil that I was going to introduce, I totally forget it, is sea buckthorn oil. Sea buckthorn oil. That's an oil that is now being used for anti-aging purposes, for wrinkles and fine lines, for mature skin, for aging skin, for dry skin. Research it. And we're going to talk more about it next week because I totally forget to introduce it to you guys. So if you are familiar with it right now, comment. And guys, please remember to thumbs the video up. We are looking for at least 100 thumbs up, you know, to let us know that just basically getting your feedback to know that the show is you liking the topic and all of that. Some people don't know how to thumbs it up, but if you look right below the video you're watching, you're going to see a thumb looking like this. That is the thumbs up. So you're going to take whether your finger and click on it. If you're using um, your phone or your iPad or if you're using a computer, you click with your mouse. But your finger, you just tap at it, and that's the way you thumbs up a video. I forget to mention that because I now realize some people don't know how to do it. Try to get us up to 100. We are at 67 right now. Okay, so Lucy, how do you spell it? Okay, so is correct spelling 
S-E-A-B-U-C-K-T-H-O-R-N. That's the spelling. Um, Seabock or Seabock Thorn, T H O R N. So it's Seabock, Seabock Thorn, S E A B U C K T H O R N. That's it. So look it up when you're done, guy. I actually have a recipe with the Seabock Thorn. Okay, somebody have something on it, and that is research it if you're not familiar with it because we're going to talk about it in details because it's right up there with the kamu kamu all right so you hear it here first right up there with the kamu kamu so guys we're at 76 let's get this up to 100 before we close out so if you're just joining in we talk a, a lot about oils today different kinds of oils we stray as usual and talk about other things we mentioned on top of the hour the pomegranate oil we also have mentioned the rosehip oil we talk about carrot oil oil we talk about squalene oil we talk about grapeseed oil and we talk about carrier oil such as um grapefruit seed oil um olive oil we also talk about grapes i mentioned grape seed oil about six times orange oil what am i missing um what am i missing Ojoba oil, we talk about ojoba oil. Um, I have more oils to mention that I didn't mention, like argan oil, and these are special oil. Marula oil is another oil that is that has been around for centuries that is now coming back on the scene as a special oil you're also going to notice a lot of beauty products out there using the marula oil i am using it and it is really amazing also and when it comes on to fragrant it's basically nothing now if you buy an oil and it's smelling too sweet that means they add something to it so be very mindful when you're buying these oil make sure to look for 100 percent natural unrefined on 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 process and all that good on 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 and those what you look for to get the best quality oil okay the pistachio oil i have some and that is good but lucy let me tell you something about this anyway we're going to talk off, off here about this precise oil. And then we'll come back and tell you what we talk about, guys. All right. So, um, Nazi, Chichi, please, is there anything like parsley oil? Because I bought one as I have dark on the eye circles. And this is exactly what I'm saying, guys. Years ago, there was no such thing as parsley oil. Years ago, there was no such thing as aloe vera oil. Years ago. Okay there were no such thing as grapefruit seed oil. However, because so many, oh my goodness, my doorbell guys. So many people are turning to, I have some work, many of you guys working. So they went for lunch, they're coming back. I hope somebody opened the door for them. Anyway, the show is almost over. I ain't gonna cut my show five minutes, they could wait. Anyway, so nowadays, because so many people want natural stuff, so being they're looking for means and way not only that people are more educated they are more you know research and all of that and now we have the old internet where the the world could come together and that is the reason why we have such amazing stuff going on now and that is why most of the chemical ridden stuff are slowly 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 dying out the difference however that you guys need to know when they use um, chemical, I'm using the word chemical, but, um, there's no chemical in these. So I can't find, um, I'm going to start to give you words that you can look for to know that is what they are using, which is considered chemical and what is not, because not every word you can pronounce is chemical. Some of them is just stuff that they're using to keep it longer. So what I was trying to say to you, the downsides about buying natural products is the shelf life, okay? If it's natural, guys, it's not going to last long. And that is the, the truth. Let's say you go and you buy um, a face cream and they said, all oh, natural, natural, natural. And they said it have three years shelf life. It means they put preservative in there, okay? Because if it don't, it's only going to last you six months the most. And that is the same thing with even these oils. So I would suggest to preserve the oils and to have them longer. You keep them in a cool, dark area. 
another thing is let's start skincare so I could tell you guys. One of the reasons why, and I bet you some of you guys don't know. Anyone on the chat know why most of these oils are in dark bottles? Anyone? Do you know why most of the oils like these special oils are in dark bottles? If you know, share it with us. Share it with us. However, the time is going, so I'm going to tell you why. They are in dark bottle, bottles to help to keep them longer. When they are exposed to sunlight, they're going to go bad like really, really fast. Okay? So when you get your oils, and even if you make your own homemade coconut oil or whatever, and it's best to keep them in a dark bottle, they're going to keep longer and keep them in the darkest area in your home. They don't need to be under the bright light in the bathroom. Anywhere you have dark Put them in a brown paper bag if you have to. Put them in a bag and tie up the bag and hide somewhere. Wrap them in a bag, black towel or something. They're going to keep longer because they need that, you know, darkness to prevent the sunlight from getting them bad really, really quick. And that is a natural preservative right there, okay? That's a natural way of preserving your oils to protect the properties the antioxidant which is in the form of the vitamins and minerals in the good oils all right guys so you must learn something today if you didn't know about the dark bottles right keeping light out that's an easy way to say it so make sure don't leave them on the countertop hide them away and also you need to hide this stuff because sometimes people come to your house like me they come and they think that all right she have all these oils, and when they leave, her oil is missing, a cocky oil is missing. But that used to happen even before I start my YouTube channel, guys. Because remember, I told you I was a product, product junkie. So my family and friend, they used to come, and when they leave, especially they're like, oh my god, this oil is good. When they leave, the oil is gone with them to walk right behind them out of the house. So it's good to hide your stuff, okay? So dark bottles, yes, you keep them hidden. All right, all right, guys. Woo, the one hour is up. So we talk about, oh, so we're coming back next week with the sea buck thorn oil. We're coming back with it next week. Different topic, but I'm going to touch on it because I really want to go into details about it. I was talking about carry oil, carrier oil and get straight. When you have these strong, strong oil, also vitamin E oil, guys. If you have 5,000 IU, you could use it directly on your face. If you have above the 5,000, use it with a carrier oil. It just means that carrier oil is an oil that you could dilute other oils in to make it friendly for your skin. That's the simplest and easiest way to get it. If you're still watching, give us a thumbs up so we could get this chat up to 100 thumbs up. That is my time today, guys. So I'm going to spend the next three minutes or so just going through the comment and taking some questions but the show is over where the oils are concerned pomegranate rose hip carrot seed squalene grape seed and i didn't talk about orange oil but it was on my paper and we also talk about over oil and we i was going to talk about vitamins guys like the vitamin e in detail the b complex and i was going to talk about a little bit about copper and zinc but i'm going to have an old show talking about the vitamins in details and the coppers and the zinc and listing them for you guys and it's gonna be on let's talk skincare so look out for that all right so um aquarius this has been a very inform uh, informative thanks you so much thanks lucy yes so true i have to hide my chili pepper so people think they can take without asking so rude okay rachel do that also like you said keep it in a cool place Fridge not using constantly. Okay, yeah. perfect, perfect. Norma Coke, hello, hello, hello. Amina Ramley, hi, Amina, to prevent oxidation. Perfect. Spray, what about chip pan oil? Hmm, chip pan oil. I don't know that one. So I got to go look that up. Chip pan oil. Okay, um... Okay, all right. So um, we also have normal. Keep away from light. Yes, we are. Hello, Jason. Yes, because of the sunlight. Lisa McLean, I keep it in the basement. And we have given up MPT, um, protect from the um, most likely UV ray. Diablo, dark bottle, keep the light out. So most people know why the dark bottle is for these products and these oils. Perfect, perfect. So I have a, a really, really good bunch of subscribers. No joke. We need 10 more times thumbs up our time is up it's friday evening and believe it or not is a 239 um 
p.m. in New York City, and I have not yet have my breakfast. Now, I'm wearing reading glasses, guys. Like, you know, my eyes are good, but my, you know, ophthalmologist be like, okay, if you really want with this constant staring at the computer, just get some reading glasses. So, yeah, so this is how I look. So, but if you notice, I didn't wear it right during the show, and I could see everything. So, I think that's like no good, but I put it on for style sometime. All right, so breakfast after the show for me, and I have to go and work on a video for you guys for tomorrow. So you get some good shows, and we have some amazing things coming up next year, which I'm so excited about, which we are going to get into in the end of the year. And do something wonderful for yourself this weekend. For those of you who are joining for the first time, probably never ever watch a video, what you could do, you could click on my face in the round circle below, and that's going to take you to my channel page. Once you get on the channel page, then you can just browse around, try something. I like to challenge you guys if you're new. Try something, anything. Now, come back next week and comment. Now, my channel is not only about the remedies that we make. What we do, we try to teach you how to make these things for yourself. Basically, that's what we're doing. So if I post a video with, let's say, a facial mask, and you watch the channel a lot, you'd already know that, okay, so I didn't have no flour, but I could use some oatmeal and all of that. So that is how we actually want the channel to be. We're not selfish that you have to use what we post, the ingredient we use, no. We are I, um, enlightening you on how you could do these things for yourself, okay? If you're new, that is. And if you're new and you have not yet subscribed and you want to see more of these amazing chat and stuff like that, look below, you're going to see the word subscribe in red. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. All right, so back to taking care of yourself this weekend. Try one of my facial scrub, or better yet, make one for yourself and exfoliate your skin. That can last you for three days. So you do it every other day. So you get three times for the week done. Come back next week and tell us what is going on with your skin. For the person with the sagging eye, remember to send the email. I'm gonna be looking out for that. And also, if you have a picture, it would be nice to send a picture for me to see what's going on. Maria, um, Francisco, keep it from dark light. Yes, and um, Lefty Car Carrillo, um, salute, salute to you from Dallas, Texas. And we have... Um, um, Rachel, I think um, I save and clean my liquid stevia because it came in dark bottles and reused for, oh, yes, for, for other things. Right, guys. So if you have dark bottles, little bottles and stuff like that, you don't have to throw them out. You could wash them, sterilize them in, you know, drop them in the boiling water and turn them upside down and keep them to put your wonderful oils and remedies. And not only that, you could mix a bunch of stuff in and shake it up and you are good to go. Three more guys. My time is up. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. If you're watching and you have not, first of all, oh, there's so many people. Laura, let me give you a couple more minutes. All right, guys. So if you're just joining in, we're talking about natural oils that is good for boosting collagen, the benefit of it. We mentioned a lot of oils with vitamin A because vitamin A is the vitamin that you need to be using if you are looking to, you know, anti-aging purposes to slow the aging process down, to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines and to have your skin looking amazing. That's oil for you is vitamin A. When you search for anti-aging um, products, as we mentioned earlier, you might not see contain vitamin A. They might not list it. So what we did, we tried to share with you some of the oils that contain high amount of vitamin A oil, and that is what you look for on the product, such as the rosehip oil, the cacao oil, the new oil that is taken in the skincare world by storm is the Camu Camu oil, and we also have sesame seed oil, and we have the Bachi oil, CBD, and we're going to talk more about that. So definitely, guys, 
These are what you look for because they contain vitamin A that's going to plump that skin up. Collagen meaning that it's a protein and the body produces its own protein. But as we age, the system slow down. Everything just slow down like, ooh, and then you start to see wrinkles and fine lines. So what we're trying to do, we are trying to help the body to produce more collagen. So that's the reason why we use the word boosting the collagen. And you can boost it topically or internally. Internally, you're going to eat the green leaf vegetables. You're going to eat up your spinach. It's no joke. Papaya. You used to watch a cartoon with papaya eating the spinach and again, all the muscles. That's what I grew up with. It's like a no joke. But then thank you for 100 thumbs up. It's, it's no joke. But then it seems like it's a joke, but it's not. Eat up all of that good stuff. And that's going to help to boost the collagen from within. And topically, you apply these amazing oil exfoliators your skin guys for those of you with wrinkled skin exfoliate the skin and do the facial massages i always always recommend recommend the facial massages do not leave them out and guess what if you are in your 20s start doing the facial massages yes you i'm talking to you start doing the facial massages at that age because if you start that early you're going to look amazing you're going to reap the full benefit when you get to 50 and 60 and it's no joke so start so this is for everyone whatever you apply to the skin which is pretty pretty easy right it's not in else that you're doing you're not adding anything you are just applying i'm putting some marula oil on my skin right now that's my marula oil right there now what do you do you're applying it to your skin and you're rubbing it in instead of just leaving it like that then you start to massage it and that's how you get the massaging in okay so it's not no you know i gotta spend too long no every time you apply a oil or a cream or a serum to your skin you massage it in the skin and that is going to help the lip just practice the technique that you know exactly what to do you lift and you forehead wrinkles it's always just hop, simple things just mm, mm, and you're good to go and you are going to be one month I like to challenge people, yeah? I'm talking to you. One month. Try it for one month. Sagging skin. You think you're 30. You think you're 60. You seen, you just look old. You feel like you're looking old. I get a lot of emails like that. Try the massages along with the products. If you don't make homemade facial stuff, none at all, and you use your store-bought stuff, still do the massages. The facial massages is going to help tremendously. And those are what you can see instant result with. And it's like no joke. So just imagine you do it as often as you can. You're going to see amazing results. The celebrities are doing these things, okay? They're doing these things. And guys, I have some good stuff coming up for you um, that we're going to be sharing some good stuff. Someone was asking me, this one don't open. I have an open one. But anyway, someone was asking me about tools. If I use any of these tools, the Gosha and, you know, the Jade Roller and all of these stuff. And uh, I'm going to share some. I haven't, uh, this is the new one. But I have some. But anyway, guys, we are going to be sharing some of these stuff with you that you could get a pretty cheap, no joke, to help in case you don't can be bothered with the finger this is a gosha and you know that's how you do it and this like instant is no joke these are like some korean stuff that is amazing so stay tuned guys i'm gonna start to share some of these things with you this is open because i've been using this a lot since the other really really good no joke anyway guys my time is up for those of you who, uh, when I'm looking at them, other people watching is like, I would just want to keep going. So we're going to be bringing up a lot of those stuff. And I also have some stuff here that I, oh, look what I have, guys. This is something that I'm going to be trying. You see that? I'm not advertising any brand. This is something I saw and I um I want to try it. It's the pomegranate gel. What do you know? Okay. So I'm actually going to be trying this with some of these stuff and um, I'm going to share those with you. Oops. My whole set of marula oil is on my desk. Oh my goodness. That's why I get for not closing back the bottle. Another thing that I want to try and some of you are going to freak out when I show you this that I'm going to be trying. 
and I'm going to bring it to you guys. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to be trying this, no joke, okay? I'm going to try it. I probably will do it live for you guys to see. I'm not advertising any brand. I saw it. I want to try it. It's kind of gross, but I'm going to try it. Anybody ever try this snail gel? Let me know because we're going to be trying the snail gel, all right? So I'm, I have some good stuff that I want to share with you guys. All my good Marilla oil is all out, so... I ain't gonna waste my marula oil. I'm just gonna use it to massage my hands. All right, guys. So we talk about oils that help to boost. This is all my marula oil right here. But anyway, we talk about oils that help to boost the collagen. And I'm gonna rub my marula oil on my legs because I ain't wasting it. Kevin Johnson, how are you? Maria, um, thank you, thank you. Your channel is so inform informative, and I've learned a lot from you. Love you, Chichi. God bless. Thank you so much for that. Nazi, love you. Have a wonderful weekend. Jason, Jade Roller. Yeah, Brenda, very informative. Well done, Lucy. I have a Jade Roller. Did I have a little snail gel? No, be no. <laughs> yes, I am going to try it. If you're from the Caribbean, this is going to probably freak you out, the snail gel, because we are like used to the. Um, snail and when the rain fall they normally come out and be on the leaves and all of that anyway there's a lot of people that believe in it especially the celebrities okay so why not i'm gonna try it for you if you don't want to try it i'm gonna try it all right so we're gonna share that and taryn thank you i'm um, fortune fortune cup d hi chichi hi and we have um we also have donna i use this snail on their ipads yes those are good too right so yes definitely those are good and i have some of those that i am currently trying and no i'm not gross out by it for some reason the the i um pads feel different but like the this and the gel and the snail oh anyway we're gonna i probably should do it on, on live so if you're just joining in us we spoke about pomegranate oil we also spoke about carrot seed oil we also talk about squalene oil we talk about camu camu oil we mentioned rosehip oil which if you have to get just one get the rosehip oil since it also contains vitamin e and vitamin c and most of those carrier oil guys do have vitamin e vitamin e should be one of the main oil that you use right across the board everyone should try to have vitamin e oil oh However, if you don't have the vitamin E oil, most of the carrier oil, like the um, olive oil, the almond oil, the um, what other oil we have been using, most of those oils, however, do have vitamin E. So don't feel left out. There's an oil that I'm going to talk about. I think I brought it on the show once. But I've never really gone in detail about it, and it's safflower oil. I'm going to bring on the safflower oil for many different reasons, not only for skincare, least about skincare, but I'm going to talk about benefits of the safflower oil, especially for us ladies. Okay, so. If you um, are familiar with the um, safflower oil, you could feel free to chime in or send me a little tidbit of what you know about it. And I actually do use it, but we're going to have a whole thing about this safflower oil. Okay. All right. So we have, um, we also talk about grapeseed oil and we also talk about um, um, sea buck orn oil, which is something that we didn't go in detail about, but we're going to talk about it on another show. And those are some of the oils that contain most vitamin A than the rest of the oils. And that is why they are good for helping to boost the collagen production, good benefit for wrinkled skin, for dry skin also. For those of you with dry skin, all of these oils are amazing. And we also was just talking about massaging the face for best result in terms of getting rid of wrinkles all right so um rachel i came in late so i will be replaying definitely for those of you who are late you could replay and you're still going to get it as if it is live once it's finished process it's going to be on the channel page and there's a playlist for it um let's talk skincare with chichi beauty it's a full playlist if you click on it you will see all the other shows that you miss and also a topic that you might be interested in so you could go back and watch or if you miss something and you wasn't sure what i was saying about it you could go back and um you definitely will be able to watch 
the show. And you could also skip when you're watching to whatever interests you. When you watch over the show, you don't have to watch the entire hour. You could skip to, you know, let's say I'm going to talk about the oil and you want to hear more about it. You could always skip to it because I know a hour is a while. Now, if you're just joining us or if you're watching and you like it, the show, give it a thumbs up. Now, the, the year is almost ending and this is one show that is probably on the line. We might not bring it back next year, but when we do our review, we are looking to make sure most of the show we have at least 100 thumbs up along with the amount of views we get. Most people watch these shows after. So the show run from somewhere between five to 10,000, sometime a little more after the show um, is aired. So we use all of that, take all of that in consideration. But for the live show, in terms of the measurement, we like to get it to at least 100 thumbs up. So if you're still watching, give the video a thumbs up if you like the topic that is. And also comment, comment on there to let us know if, you know, you think it's a good idea if you like this kind of a topic. All right, Brooke B, thanks so much for all your awesome input. Have a wonderful weekend. Same to you, Maria Fogg, came in late, S. L-S-E-L-I-S-74110, um, which hour? Um, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I think that is what? 1.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30. That's 10.30 Pacific Time. And that's 10.30 a.m. Pacific Time. All right? And that's every Friday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, 10.30 um, a.m. Pacific Time. All right? So we also have Winnie. How are you? And we also have, um, um, let's see who else is here. Brenda Loney. Hello. And I think Zen Molina. Um, I'm trying to give everybody a shout out that is still on. I'm Tashi. Also, if you're still watching and you didn't comment, feel free to comment because we're going to be taking the names from the comment. You could just top comment with a thumbs up, a little art or whatever, because we're going to take the names from the comment for our annual um, gift giving, which is going to be in a two weeks or so from today. So the only way you're going to be able to enter is if you say something on the, on the comment section. You don't have to say anything, just do a thumbs up or a little emoji, something. All right, anyway, guys, my time is up. Whoa, this is the first time I've gone so long, but I have no regret. I like talking about skincare. Our show is over. I love you guys. And um, yeah, share the video on your page. Go on the channel page, share the videos that you like, and just uh, feel free to Tell people about the channel. And also I have merchandise. If you look below, you're going to see the merchandise. You can also choose to support the channel by, you know, getting a leggings or a teacup. Those are very popular. The teacup, a lot of people tend to buy those. And you can also have like woodies and stuff like that. You can support by, you know, showing your, I call it donation for the channel by buying yourself something just for support. I love you. And they're good quality also. Next year, I'm going to start wearing a lot of them for you guys to see. So my time is up. I cannot go any further because, you know, for those that's going to come and watch it after. Love yourself. Take care of you because if you don't, no one is going to do it for you. It's time to get up. Stop sitting down and say, oh, I'm going to try this try it start something start taking care of you not only celebrities can look amazing you can too yes you you can look amazing if you put the effort in it all right get up try something go wash your face put some sugar and some olive oil scrub your face okay pat dry it rub some coconut oil on it do it often and you're gonna start to look good because when you start to do that what's gonna happen you're gonna start combing your hair it started coming here, you're gonna be like, mm, you're gonna make sure your nails file properly. And, and that's how it starts. And before you know it, you look amazing. And people will be like, Whoa, what happened? Oh, is he looking so good these days? Oh, what happened? You're taking care of you. You're taking care of you. Okay. I love you guys. I see you next week, same time, 1 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 30 a.m. Pacific Time. Join me on Sunday, guys for Sunday Chit Chat with Chitty Beauty. That is 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Every Sunday, um, 4.30 p.m., same place, same time. And that's a totally different show from this one. So if you have not yet seen that show, tune in on Sunday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern, 
1.30 p.m. Pacific time. Have a great week, and thank you for your continuous support. I love you guys, and mwah, love yourself, hug yourself, and be good to you, and good, be good to others, and give yourself a little tap on the shoulder when you deserve it. If no one give it to you, give it for yourself. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.